Hello everyone. So today we are going to explore self-healing capabilities within Excel Cube. So what we are going to do is this is a normal scenario where we are actually logging as an admin with the username and password and then we are clicking on sign in button. Beyond this we are clicking on the username which is Thomas and then we are verifying the user details. So what we're going to do differently and how we are going to test the self-healing feature in Excel Cube. So what we're going to do is specifically use and run the same scenario for a different user. And what we're going to do is this particular link property is something that we will not change. And we will see if self-healing is able to heal this particular link. So like for the same scenario we did for QBank admin, we'll do the same scenario for john.todd so we log in as john.todd we enter the username and the password and then we click on sign in and then we click on john and then we verify the user details here so what we're going to do is just to test out the self-healing feature we are not going to change this link property to be something generic so let me show you that so this is our particular action logic, which is to click on user profile link. So in the user profile link that we have already added, just to check the self healing feature, what I'm doing is I'm selecting this text as Thomas, right? So the moment the text changes or when we log in as John dot dot, this text would actually have to be John. So we'll check if the self healing algorithm of Excel queue is able to heal this and go ahead with the logic okay so we for sure know that without self-healing this particular test is going to fail so this is the particular scenario when you normally log in as an admin it will execute as ex expected and then when you log in as a john.todd which is a general user it's bound to fail here which is it will say that could not find the particular user profile link right so if you see the screenshot you'll notice here that the link name is john and what we have stored as a link name is thomas so now let's see and run this scenario to see if self-healing really works so to do that what we do is we have already created a scenario which invokes the browser, which logs in into QBank, which clicks on the user profile and which verifies the user profile data and logs out. I'm not going into the details of how this has to be written. We'll directly go and see and check the self feelings feature. So for this, I have actually created two test cases. One is with a normal user, which is specifically log in as a QBank admin. And the other one is with a general user, which is logging as john.todd. So what we are expecting in the first use case is it will run as expected. And in the second one, since the link is not generic, it is bound to trigger self healing algorithm and execute this particular test. So let's run this particular test cases. So we say run. So when you're running this, you need to make sure that you are clicking on enabling the self healing option. So you just click on edit here and you say enable self healing and then you say run. So your two scenarios are getting executed. So the first scenario, we are going to run the QBank admin, which is a green scenario. And then in the second one, it's going to be john.todd, which is going to be a scenario which we expect to self heal. So let's see how this goes. So now the first scenario is running where we log in as QBank admin and it signs in, it clicks on Thomas, it verifies the user details and it logs out, right? So our first scenario is completed. Now we would want to run our second scenario and let's see whether self healing triggers. So we click on that scenario and it's getting executed. It's waiting for clicking on the link John. 
Now it has clicked the link John. Verify the details and logged out. Now if you look closely here, we had purposely uh, not given a generic property for the user link. Right? And here when you see the selfie link as invoked, you will see that you get the option of what actually happened and what was healed. So if you click on these details, which is self healing, you'll get an exact comparison of what was healed. So specifically in this particular test, your test was expecting John, but we had purposely designed this to fetch Thomas. So in this case, you will see that the self healing has invoked and it has properly clicked the link John. So this is about self healing. The moment your tests are self healed, you will see this kind of an icon and also you will be able to see more details around what has been healed. Hope you like this short video. Thank you.